Joining us right now, Will Sommer. He's the Loose Lips columnist for Washington City Paper. Follow him on Twitter, Will Sommer. That's with an O, Will Sommer. Um, also, uh, WCP is uh, Washington City Paper's Twitter handle. Uh, it is the blog to go to about D.C. local politics. Thanks for joining us, Will. Thanks for having me. So uh, we're in the midst of this mayoral campaign, although it was kind of a quiet summer, was it not? But now uh, things should start heating up now that we're hitting Labor Day weekend. Uh, first off, now that uh, D.C. kids are going back to school, are the candidates uh, bringing out their education plans? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've had this going on for a couple months in the background now. Uh, the plan to overhaul the school boundaries, you know, what, what school you go to, uh, generally based on geography. Uh, and we've seen Vince Gray, and now that he has uh, the current mayor, now that he's lost uh, his re-election bid, he's come out with this plan that, with a lot of people, is unpopular. Uh, so he said on that last week, and uh, David Catania and Muriel Bowser have both come out saying they don't like it. And uh, speaking of Catania, he got a pretty good endorsement there, didn't he, from the police department? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, the police are backing him, which is uh, to some extent unusual. Uh, they've shown themselves to be, uh, Miro Bowser has been endorsed by the kind of the labor council that represents most of the unions in the city. Um, it, 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 it's sort of a demonstration of, uh, on one hand, a, a little support for Kenya, as well as the, the police department's willingness to go their own way. But it, it also kind of sends a message. I mean, listen, uh, Carol Schwartz has suggested, uh, Carol Schwartz, the uh, other independent candidate uh, in the mayoral race, um, she has suggested that the only reason that uh, Catania got that endorsement from the cops is because he has secretly promised to fire Chief Lanier. Is there any uh, validity to that? I mean, I, I have not been able to find it. Um, th I mean, she, yeah, the police chief is, is certainly very popular. Uh, I, I, I think Catania would be probably loath to get rid of her uh, just based on her popularity. Um, I, I, I would caution uh, Carol Schwartz has sort of been known for uh, with having the best intentions uh, as far as some of the things she said, but then when you ask her, she says, oh, that's just almost something someone told me. Uh, but and, and by the way, uh, uh, Carol Schwartz, who, when she entered the race, many people suggested that maybe she's just uh, doing uh, Muriel Bowser's dirty work for her since there's some bad blood there with David Catania. Has she said anything critical about Muriel Bowser yet? I've, I've been searching in vain. Yeah, well, no, I, I actually there was kind of this funny exchange. Um, so I mean, there's a big hotel now in D.C. called Marriott Marquis. Yes. And um, Muriel Bowser has decided, said she's going to do sort of uh, not a full day, but sort of a half day of essentially working as a maid so she can better understand them. Now, you know, some of her opponents is that this is, uh, amounts to a stunt. And uh, Muriel Bowser has been traveling around to these different cities uh, meanwhile and uh, meeting with the mayor. And Carol Schwartz essentially said, you know, I'm glad she was able to take a break from her minimum wage hotel maid job. Hold hold on a minute. I think you're burying the lead. I didn't see the story. Muriel Bowser spent a day as a maid at the Marriott Hotel. N not yet, but she's going to. Really? Yeah, it it, it, it should be something to see. I is, is there going to? Uh, this sounds like a reality TV program. Are they going to be following <laughs> her around with cameras? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to have to find out. All right, that's that's fascinating. Well, speaking of Muriel Bowser, um, how are things going with this uh, housing complex, uh, uh, the 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 Park Southern apartment scandal that uh, was sort of connecting to her, was it not? And I understand oh, that's heating up a bit. Absolutely, yeah. It, it's um, it is a very troubled uh, housing complex that's deteriorating. There's lots of questions about missing money, and what's happening is that. Uh, you know, people are wondering, uh, it's run by these Bowser supporters. People are wondering where this money went, whether it went into her campaign. There's no, there's no evidence of that so far. But the new development is that the IRS uh, sees the financial records of the apartment complex. Wow. So that means this is getting, uh, this is a very serious investigation now that the IRS is stepping in and seizing records. But the way these things go, Will Summer, uh, if there is any there there, and if it does touch Muriel Bowser, we probably won't learn about it until uh, if and when she's elected mayor. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we've seen uh, Vince Gray uh, still under investigation four years after his first campaign. Um, but the, what this is, is it provides David Kenny with kind of a stick to hit Bowser on. Uh, particularly, she refuses to investigate it through her D.C. Council Committee, which covers housing issues. 
Um, and so, so that's something you can keep going back to during the campaign. Well, and given that, I've got to ask you, I mean, uh, where is David Catania? You would think that he would be able to really uh, exploit this issue and Muriel Bowser's uh, lack of experience and really try to, you know, be out there and uh, and drum up some support. But I, it seems to me, and maybe I'm not paying close enough attention, but he seems to have been running a kind of stealth campaign so far. Right. So the summer in D.C. is, uh, <laughs> as it is everywhere, and not a lot of people are paying attention to politics. Um, the exchange campaign has been doing a lot of, you know, groundwork, you know, kind of the, the boring stuff that gets you elected, meet and greets, that sort of thing, as has Bowser. I mean, she's doing a lot of door knocking. I think we're going to see a lot more of a public kind of city, citywide campaign emerge after Labor Day. And uh, to that end, what is the schedule, Will Sommer, on the debates? I know that a lot of people start paying attention when they actually see the candidates squaring off uh, uh, mano a mano, as it were. Sure, absolutely. I mean, there was this big, uh, big dispute about, uh, you know, whether Bowser was dodging debates and what have you. So the first debate's going to be uh, September 18th. Uh, that's at American University. That's going to be kind of the big showdown. And then, but the, but the most exciting and fun debate will be City Paper on uh, October 6th at the Black Cap at the bar. So it's, uh, you know, it's a little rowdier than the other debates. Uh, first of all, I, I, well done on the shameless plug for uh, for City Paper. But hold on, let, let me get the details on this debate. It's happening at a bar. Where is it? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a bar on uh, around 14th and U Streets downtown. Uh, the Black Cat's kind of a classic uh, classic DC rock venue, but uh, they they decide to give it over to the real rock and roll uh, local politics and. <laughs> Wait and what? Uh, yes. what? So it should be fun. October sixth. Uh, October sixth. You know, Mon Monday, October sixth. Uh, Will Summer. Just so you know, uh, I am in town and available that night if you need a uh, a very very prominent radio personality on the panel, and especially hey, that's if, good to hear. Especially if City Paper is buying the drinks. Uh, all right, and uh, finally, uh, oh, and, oh, I got to ask you: Are all these debates going to include uh, Schwartz as well on the panel? Um, yes, yeah, so, uh, ours will. Um, this is in kind of a – well, it is actually, actually brings up something else interesting. So Carol Schwartz is a former council member. It's going to be hard to essentially exclude her, um, even if her chances of winning are pretty low. Um, but then there's kind of some kookier candidates. There's a libertarian. There's a, a lady who uh, who plays a trumpet instead of answering her questions. Is that the is that the one? I've seen this poster. It's like Star yeah. Child or something, or I, I've seen yeah. it around Cleveland Park. <laughs> yeah, so she, so Muriel Bowser is essentially trying to have those candidates included as well, which would certainly disrupt the debate quite a bit. It's not a debate unless the rent is too damn high guy is also <laughs> up on the stage. Um, all, all right, and by the way, anything on the polls? You said that summer is a dead time, no one's paying attention, so is it even worth looking at the poll numbers at this point? Or I mean, if, if there were poll numbers, I'd be looking at them. Um, you know, last time I was on a mess, the Cutaneous campaign has their own poll that puts him at around uh, high single di digits is how they've described it. Um, but then you have to figure they paid for that, so um, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, after Labor Day, we should start seeing some polls. All right. Will Summer, always good to have you. Again, it's the Loose Lips column at Washington City Paper. Follow him on Twitter, Will Summer. That's with an O. Thanks, Will.